I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Bill Carlos, second ward. Ann Berger, third ward. Michael Safone, fourth ward. Ann Churchill, sixth ward. Felicia Salvatore, town clerk. Jim Nelson, attorney for the town. John Baisley, town supervisor. Welcome everybody to tonight's meeting. On tonight's agenda, the first item on the agenda will be a public hearing on unsafe building 195 Vassar Road. Number two will be a public hearing on unsafe building 798 to 802 Duchess Turnpike. Three is appointment of Donovan Kalavakis as a town animal control officer. Four, appoint Jill Anderson as a police evidence tech. Five, authorize the execution of awards document regarding FY23 COPS hired grant program. Number six, um, recreation trust, for, okay. trust fund encumbrance will be, um, what? Nothing. Oh, will be removed from the agenda at this time. It's not ready. Seven, amend town employee handbook six, relating six, to three. medical buyout and HRA funding sunset and terminate. Eight, authorize a tax search settlement. Oakwood Partners, LLC. And six, and B, Neptune Capital Investors, LLC. Nine, a consent lead agency, fitness showroom, 70A over Rocker Road. 10, accept the resignation of Pete D. Sotero for the plumbing board. 11, authorize a supervisor to sign extension agreement with the county regard community development block grant for Sheep Road Park. 12, set a date for public hearing, town code amendments, chapter 203 water. 13, authorize a supervisor to sign amended legal documents relating to Arthur's May redevelopment. 14, authorize the comptroller to allocate and designate ARPA funds. 15, modify the 2023 budget for the auto center. 16, authorize vacation rollover for Brian Porter, auto manager. 17, accept the resignation of Brandon Berrien of the water department. 18, approve fee schedule. 19, approve the supervisor to sign a water storage agreement with Hopewell developers. 20, a notification of cannabis locations. 21, notification of claim, Wisner versus the town. 22, authorize the supervisor to sign an agreement with Empress Ambulance Service. 23, authorize the supervisor to sign South Hills, South Hills Common Easement Agreement. 24, a matter of employee grievance. Step three, referred to an executive session. So with that, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for any item on the agenda except for the two public hearings. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anybody in the audience that would like to discuss any item on the agenda? Doreen? No, I'll wait to see if there's somebody in the room first. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. Nobody in the room. Doreen, go ahead. Hey, thank you. Um, I have a question about number eight. So it appears that Oakwood Partners, which I believe is the owner of um, Oakwood Commons, and uh, Neptune Capital Investors, uh, both of those are for reduction in um, assessments for multiple years. Correct. Okay, so I don't know, I, I guess I just don't understand it. I mean, um, a couple months ago when I was talking about um, the assessments in the town going up, um, I was told that 88% of the houses in the town, their assessments were, had gone up. But yet, uh, Oakwood Partners and uh, Neptune Capital Investors get to uh, have their assessment go down. So 88% of the people in the town are likely going to get an increase in their taxes, but seems like these developers will not. Doreen, these developers take them to, to court and it's not only based on the assessed value, it's based on their profit and loss also. And some of these profit losses due to COVID go back a couple of years. So that's one of the reasons when they do fight that there's no town refunds for a lot of these for that reason. But you're right, you know, they do go up, but they go to court. If they win in court, we don't have much of a choice. As we saw in the newspapers today, the average home in Dutchess County, I think was up almost 18%, you know, and retail is still struggling. If you look around, retail is struggling. So their properties aren't valued as high as they were. And I agree with you on some of the other ones we discussed, hotels and different ones, you know, but going forward, they. They still have the right to do them. I don't agree with, you know, when they get them and they win them all the time, but 
if they're getting in, we'll go in the court and we've been to court and some of them we've actually, you know, we asked for financials, we've done surveys and we've hired um, appraisers for the properties and things to try to fight our battles. And sometimes we just, we aren't getting the value out of them that we should. So they are battling these. It's not like it's a, an easy flip because it's a developer and commercial is still having a problem. If you look at some of the values on one of them was going back 21 and 22, it actually is going up. I think it was the, the first one, it was 8.3 and 21, 22, then it went up to 8.6. So it is going up, but a lot of them are still folding back into the COVID period where they're using a profit and loss from there. Yeah, I realize that, you know, if you, you go to court, you're, you're bound by that. So, you know, I, I do understand it's not a town board uh, decision as far as that's concerned, but it seems unfortunate to the uh, town taxpayers. Okay, am I, my other um, question is about number seven, about the medical buyout. So is is that, I, don't know, I think it was the November 15th meeting where, where Councilman Safone made a, um, a statement about there was a change to some employee benefits. Correct. So, okay, so it looks like if, if an employee or an elected official has their own medical insurance and they opt out of the town's insurance, they're going to get a 75% increase in the amount of money they get from the town. So they're going from $4,000 to $7,000. That is correct, Doreen. If you take one family plan off the tax, off of the, the cost, a family plan for Nice Ship Empire at this point is close to $40,000. So you're not looking at a $3,000 difference. You're looking at a $33,000 savings for the town that we can spend somewhere else. So to entice some of these people that have spouses with plans somewhere else to get them off the plan, is, it's beneficial to the town because you only need to get one or two off to make a decent amount of money. Yeah, that is a big increase. So, so does this also apply to town board members? Yes. Yes. Okay, so so some of you may be voting tonight to uh, give yourself an increase. But all right, thank you. You're welcome. Is there anybody else? If not, a motion to resume the rules. Second. Okay. All those favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion open public hearing number one, 195 Vassar Road, unsafe Second. building. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anybody here to discuss 195 Vassar Road? This is our time to speak. Is anybody here? Don't see anyone. Jim would like to speak. Jim, go ahead. If, if I could, Mr. Supervisor, I. Uh, would suggest that the board receive as part of the uh, uh, record uh, for this uh, hearing and also for the next one uh, all of the documents and materials that have been previously uh, submitted on this and the earlier application for unsafe structure demolition orders. Okay. Thank you. Is there anybody else? If not, make a motion to close public hearing number one. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Carlos? Resolution number one, whereas by resolution 216, number two of 2022, adopted February 16, 2022, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has determined that the premises and buildings located at 195 Vassar Road, Poughkeepsie, County of Dutchess, State of New York, bearing grid number 6159-01-4696, referred to as the premise. The owner of record being Kenneth Walters are dangerous, unsafe, and dilapidated and an imminent threat to the general public. And whereas the town board has adopted the building department's unsafe building investigation report regarding the premise and directed the issuance of an order and notice requiring demolition or repair of the premises and setting a date setting of a public hearing regarding the notice order and notice and whereas said order and notice of a public hearing has been served and posted which order includes a direction that the required work begin immediately and must be commenced no later than 30 days from the service of the order and notice and be completed no later than 60 days thereafter and gave further notice that on failure to timely comply the town board is authorized to repair or demolish and remove the building or seek an injunction to compel the owner to do so and assess the expense thereof against the premise 
as a special ad valorem levy under town law article 15 and to institute a proceeding to collect the expenses of such work and whereas the town of Poughkeepsie has in the order notice reserved its right to proceed more rapidly with the remediation of this site if it is required pursuant to town code 71 sub 12 and whereas the legal notice of public hearing was posted on November 17, 2023 and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on November 24, 2023. And whereas said public hearing has been held this date, now therefore, be it resolved that in the event that the owner has not timely commenced or completed the repair or demolition, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie authorizes, directs, authorizes and directs the building department to demolish and remove the building by town employees or by the responsible contractor making the lowest price proposal to the town consistent with town code 71 sub 10 and to thereafter assess against the premise and levy and collect the expenses of the same as it provided in article 15 of the town law for the levy and collection of special ad valorem levy and be it further resolved that this work is an enforcement proceeding and is therefore a type two action, which is exempt from environmental review under 6 NYCRR 617.5 sub C sub 29. So moved. Second. Here's a motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes five to zero. It brings us to public hearing number two, 798 to 802 Duchess Turnpike. Um, make a motion to open that public hearing. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 If there's anybody here to discuss this public hearing, 798 to 802 Dutchess Turnpike, known as Malamar and Vicks Garage, this is the time to speak. Can we look to reiterate? Yes, I'd, I'd make the same request of the town board uh, that it accept into the record uh, on this proceeding uh, all of the documents and submissions uh, that have been made on this proceeding and on earlier on safe structure proceedings. Um, in addition, I just wanted to point out to the board that this is an amended resolution. Um, and it is amended because the bottom paragraph on page one uh, makes clear that the town's position uh, on this uh, is that the requested demolition order relates to all the buildings uh, on that property, an abandoned trailer, um, as well as uh, debris and apparently abandoned vehicles. Um, I had a conversation yesterday uh, with the owner's attorney um, and uh, I made a, a factual error, but I corrected it to him this afternoon and amended this uh, resolution and gave him uh, notice uh, by email uh, of the town's position. Department. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else that would discuss, like to discuss this public hearing? If not, motion to close the public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Whereas by resolution 520, number four of 2015, adopted on May 20th, 2015, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie has determined that the premises and the buildings located at 798-802, Dutchess Turnpike, Poughkeepsie, County of Dutchess, State of New York, bearing grid number 6262045710014, the owner of record being Malabar Realty, LLC, 96 Oregon Road, Cortland Manor, New York, 10507, are dangerous, unsafe, and dilapidated, and an imminent threat to the general public. And whereas the town board has adopted the building department's unsafe building investigation report regarding the premises and directed the issuance of an order and notice requiring the demolition <clears throat> or repair of the premises and the setting of a public hearing regarding the notice, the order and notice. And whereas said order and notice of a public hearing has been served and posted, which order included a direction that required work begin immediately and must be commenced not later than 30 days from service of the order and notice and be completed no later than 60 days thereafter and gave further notice that on failure to timely comply, the town board is authorized to repair or demolish and remove the building or seek an injunction to compel the owner to do so and assess the expense thereof against the premises as a special ad valorem tax under tax levy under town law article 15 and to institute a proceeding to collect the expenses of such work and whereas the town of poughkeepsie has in the order and notice reserved its right to proceed more rapidly with the remedi remediation of this site 
if it is required pursuant to town code 71-12. And whereas the legal notice of public hearing was posted on November 17th, 2023 and published in the Poughkeepsie Journal on November 24th, 2023. <laughs> and whereas said public hearing has been held this day. Now therefore be it resolved that in the event that the owner has not timely commenced or completed the repair or demolition, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie authorizes and directs the building department to demolish and remove the buildings on the premises, the decrepit trailer, apparently abandoned autos and debris and otherwise restore the premises to a code safe condition by town employees or by the responsible contractor making the lowest price proposal to the town consistent with town code 71-10 and to thereafter assess against the premises and levy and collect the expenses of same as provided in article 15 of the town law for the levy and the collection of a special ad valorem levy and be it further resolved that this work is an enforcement proceeding and is therefore a type two action, which is exempt from environmental review under 6 NYCRR 617-5 or dot five C29. So moved. Second. Good motion. Second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Just so the board members know, um, all the bids for the demolition are prepared and we did get contacted by this owner today, he came in for a demolition permit, but he didn't have all his paperwork in place. So we are moving forward. Um, for us to do it at prevailing rate, it's a lot more expensive. So it's in their best interest, but they've been given time and time again. So everything's prepared and ready to go out. And it's time to, way over time to take these buildings down because everybody knows they've been through multiple lawsuits from both sides for the last 10 years. So it's time that these buildings come down. And hopefully he steps up to the plate and does it. Otherwise it's gonna cost them a lot of money. This phone. Uh, be resolved, Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie, to serve by point Donovan Kalazakis to a position of full time animal control officer under the provisions of civil service law at a grade five, step one, at the salary of $22.1190 per hour, effective December 11, 2023, which appointment is subject to a probationary period of not less than 26 nor more than 52 weeks per civil service law. It be a further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dust County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. And motion second. Any questions on this appointment? No, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0, congratulations. Best, best of luck. I mean, as everybody knows, you know, we were at um, SPCA for a few years and that was running a little backwards for a while. So we're back to finally finding a, an ACO that'll be beneficial to the town. So good luck. Is he here tonight? Yeah, he's right over there. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. He was rolling around the hall aimlessly, so we figured out who it was. Oh, okay. yeah. Number four. Be it resolved that the town board of Tom Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Jill Anderson to the position of a full time evidence technician under the provisions of civil service law at grade six, step one, at a salary at $23.9407 per hour effective January 8th, 2024, which appointment is subject to a probation period of not less than 26, no more than 52 weeks per civil service law and be further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by Dutchess County right. Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment, so moved. Second. And motion second, any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Be resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized a supervisor or is designated to execute all papers necessary and proper to effectuate a grant award known as FY23 COPS Hiring Program Grant from the United States Department of Justice in the amount of $375,000, which funds will be used by the police department to hire three police officers for three years to start a community policing unit. It must be used by September 30th, 2028. So moved. Second. Second. A motion and second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize nope. the. Bill, no, Bill, that one got removed. Sorry. No, we have to vote to remove it. We'll, oh, you do? We'll, we'll vote the table. Go ahead. You want me to read it and then we're going to remove it? Okay, sorry. No, that was right. removed. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the encumbrance of $225,000 from the Recreation Trust Fund for the Town of Poughkeepsie Stanley Still Park Improvements, and be it further resolved that this encumbrance is due to improvements to the Stanley Still Park, 
and is a type two action requiring no review under the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act. So moved. Second. second. Yeah, no second. Can I get a motion to table this for the investigation? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 5 0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby amend the Town the Town of Poughkeepsie Employee Handbook and Summary of said revisions are as follows. Section 807, the topic, medical insurance buyout for employees, summary of revision, increase of medical insurance buyout from $4,000 to $7,000. To $7, section, the second one, Section ADD 818, health reimbursement agreement arrangement. Add language below for health reimbursement agreement. The town board may make available, should it deem such action appropriate, a health reimbursement agreement, HRA, for employees or elected officials covered by certain health insurance plans. The terms of the HRA, including the annual funding and guidelines of the HRA, subject to IRS reg regulations, shall be at the sole discretion of the town board. Should the town board determine an HRA in existence is no longer to the benefit of the town, the HRA may be sunset terminated for active or retired participants of the health insurance plan associated with the HRA in accordance with IRS regulations. And be it further resolved that the sections referred to above are annexed here too, and the full version of the employee handbook can be found in the town clerk's office. So moved. Second. second. Good motion and second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Be resolved, Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized a settlement of the tax surgery proceedings instituted by Oakwood Partners, LLC owner for property located in the town of Poughkeepsie designated as tax grid numbers 134-689-6060-04-956489-2515 South Road and tax grid number 134-689-6060-04-952460-910 Watson Drive for the 2022 tax assessment rolls as shown on the attached consent order and judgment. And be it further resolved, Town Board, Town of is hereby authorize a supervisor or his designee, Town Assessor Jennifer Mund and Kyle Barnett of Vanderwater and Vanderwater LLP to sign such papers as necessary to effectuate said settlement. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the settlement of a tax surgery proceedings instituted by Neptune Capital Investors LLC owner for the pro property located in the Town of Poughkeepsie and designated as tax grid number 1346896159017891822 to Neptune Road, tax grid number 134689. 6159011499126 Neptune Road and tax grid number 134689161590119442275 South Road for the 2022 tax assessment rolls as shown on the attached consent order and judgment and be further resolved the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor or his designee town assessor Jennifer Mund and Kyle Barnett of Vanderwater Vanderwater LLP to sign such papers as are necessary to eff effectuate the settlement so moved. Second. Any motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Number nine, be it resolved. The Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby consent to the Town of Poughkeepsie Planning Board act on secret lead agency notice of intent paperwork in its entirety can be found in the town clerk's office for the project known as Fitness Showroom 70A Over Rocker Road dated November 17, 2023. So moved. Second. Second. And motion second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 5-0. Resolution number 10, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept, with regret, the resignation of Peter D. Sitaro from the Town of Poughkeepsie Plumbing Board, effective immediately. So moved. Second. second. We need a motion a second. Any questions? Yeah, I'm just really sorry to see Pete go. He was a great job on the Plumbing Board. He was a real asset. And as it stands, he was our um, citizen, our uh, civilian non-plumber on the board. So we're looking for another one, if anybody out there is interested. 
we normally meet the second Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. here. So if you know of anybody who think you'd be a good fit for the plumbing board. It's hard to find people. Yeah, and we're sorry to see them go. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Best of luck in your retirement, Pete. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby ratify the Supervisor's execution of an amendment and extension agreement with the County of Dutchess to provide the County's continued funding through the Community Development Block Grant Program of Inclusive Playground at Chief Road Park of the CA file number 16450, a copy of which is annexed. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second. Any questions on this one? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. The only comment I have to say is this, this has been extremely trying this year to try to get this accomplished. He has no help. He's working with just family members. And two weeks ago, we tried to hire somebody from another state to come in. We didn't have the proper paperwork. So they started the project for about four hours and shut it down until spring until they get everything in place. And sometimes a little bit is always not the best thing. And also working with the county on top of this to try to get done is county's been working with us diligently because they had one in Hyde Park which is working all year it still isn't done yeah. so we have everything down there ready to go we're just waiting for him to get his stuff and hopefully get his act together and get going be resolved town board town of Poughkeepsie is hereby set the 20th day of December 2023 at 7 p.m. town hall town of Poughkeepsie 1 over Rocker Road Poughkeepsie New York as and for the date, time, and place of a public hearing to amend Town Code Chapter 203 entitled Water. Be it further resolved that the proposed amendments are attached to hereto as Exhibit A and incorporated herein, and the material to be added underscored with the material to be deleted and stricken. And the Town Board does hereby waive a verbatim reading of said amendments and does direct that said amendments be spread across the record as they, in fact, had been read verbatim. And be it further resolved that the Town Board, Town of Akipsia, is determined pursuant to 6 NYCRR 617. 5C26 that it that because it involves the ongoing management of town affairs with no new programs or major ordering priorities that might affect the environment this action is a type 2 action requiring no environmental review and be it further resolved that said local law if adopted shall take effect immediately upon filing with the Secretary of State so moved sure. second. Okay, motion second any questions all those in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed motion passes 5-2 Whereas the redevelopment of the Arthur S. May school site is proceeding and a third amended site plan has been approved by the planning board and whereas by resolution 929, number 16 of 2021, the execution of certain documents said authorized for uh, said redevelopment and there is now the need for amendments to be made to such documents. Now therefore be resolved that the supervisor is authorized to accept and execute on behalf of the town an amendment of declaration of reciprocal easements and stormwater management facility and amenity inspection and maintenance easements and agreements and be further resolved that such acceptance and authorization by the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie is subject to approval of all final documents by the town attorney, planning board attorney, town engineer, and director of municipal development for the town of Poughkeepsie, so moved. Second. We have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Resolution number 14. Whereas the town of Poughkeepsie has received two installment payments under the American Rescue Plan Act totaling four million four hundred and twenty three thousand three hundred and seventy one dollars and twenty three cents in all now therefore be it resolved that the town of poughkeepsie does hereby direct that the comptroller acknowledge and designate the expenditures of these funds as revenue replacement in compliance with the united states treasurer reporting requirements and be it further resolved that the town board hereby approves the project budgets specified in exhibit a here too reserving it to itself the right to modify them by further resolution of this board and be it further resolved pursuant to 6 ny crr section 617.5 c 26 that because this resolution is adopted as part of the continuing administration of town affairs and does not affect the major reordering of priorities or include new programs that may affect the environment, it requires no environmental review. So moved. 
second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? Yes, I, I have some questions. So in this chart, um, some statuses are closed and others are open. So if I read this correctly, we use money from our budget to do all these things. Negative. and. Now no. we're replacing it with the money no. from? No, and the whole thing is originally when we got this $4 million, right. and we have the money. We were given the money up front. We don't have to ask the state for any okay. the government for any money back. The money is here, and a lot of these stuff that are booked is open. Stuff has been ordered for it, and it's coming in, or some of these projects are ongoing, like My Edwin, project, Edwin Drive, which is booked, which is like on the first sheet. That one's like 90% done. You know, the scanning project, first thing is done, the scanner, we've had an order in for it. A lot of this stuff is, has been done, but there are things to go. The money is here. There is no money outgoing. When this first money was given to us, there was really no governance to it, and they keep adding and adding. And when we got audited it this year, the auditor said, this is a process we have to take. And one year when Charlie did it, the money was in one spot, and then the next year they changed the money to another spot, the way the government wanted, because they've been mm -hmm. working all along. So. This was the direction we had, and you know we had to do a resolution for all these things that were put into play. Okay, and but don't we normally do these resolutions before we spend the money? This just this seems is, to come up behind. You no, know, this, this when we're giving the ARPA money, resolutions were not required. We we looked, we called the association of towns. We can't find a resolution from any town in New York State that has done this. Okay. Just because you spend the money, and we're following procurement policy. If it's in your budget, the money is there. If it's in ARPA money, which came in, we accepted the ARPA money. And as long as we're acknowledging where it's going, we're following our procurement policy. And what we do with most of these projects, all except for I think um, a few of them, we purchased the products. We did, nine, I'm gonna say, three quarters of work ourselves. There's only, I think, two projects. One will be Tri-Muni and Tucker Drive are two of the ones that we actually outsourced that I have off the top of my head. Most of the other stuff that was purchased was, you know, purchased different equipment and different things. and. Uh, the project that Felicia did for scanning, that one was outsourced. For it's scanning. outsourced and still ongoing. Yeah, and they went through all the proper procurement policies to go out to bid and get all the, not necessarily go out to bid, but get all the proper quotes on all these things. Okay. Any other questions? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Did you just be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby modify the 2023 budget pursuant to the attached budgetary transfer request form submitted by the Comptroller to transfer budgeted money for the Auto Center accounts as follows. From A, 1640-0101 uh, regular pay, $22,000, to uh, 1640.0431 materials and supplies, $22,000. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any questions on this one? This is just um, the Auto Center coming to us. They were shorthanded on help this year to try to purchase some products ahead of time with some of the money he saved on being slow on payroll. Which brings us to number 60. Yeah. Vote on it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Right. Be resolved, Town Board, Town of Eclipse is hereby approved with the rollover of 15 days of unused 2023 vacation time to 2024 for Brian and Porter with the understanding that these days will be used by March 31st, 2024. So moved. Second. Yeah, motion second. Any questions on this one? This one sort of piggybacks on the first one. He was extremely shorthanded mm -hmm. for a while this year. And then when he's getting ready to go on vacation, one employee got COVID. Then another employee got COVID. And he only had two employees and the third one was coming out brand new so it really put him in the bind of not being able to take vacation so i thank him for hanging in there and making things run smoothly all those in favor aye aye, aye. opposed motion passes five zero <coughs> <coughs> Be resolved, the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept with regret the resignation of Brandon Marianne Water maintenance mechanic with Town of Poughkeepsie Water Department, effective December 15, 2023. So moved. Second. second. Do a motion second. Any questions? I would just like to comment. I want to thank Brandon for his help. We were shorthanded in the water department a couple of years ago. He came in and actually learned the computer system and even be on the road. He stepped up to the plate and did that. He's going on to another position in another water department somewhere at a higher level. So I wish him the best of luck. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Resolution number 18. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby adopt the annexed schedule of fees issued under Chapter 105 
and will be it further resolved. These fees will be effective until re revised by the town board. So moved. Second. I got a motion to second. Any questions? I just want to say the only fees that are changed, we added the uh, fees for short term rentals at this particular time. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. Whereas by resolution 1018, number six of 2023, this town board authorized supervisor to execute addendum number nine to the Poughkeepsie's water sale and purchase agreement between the Poughkeepsie Joint Water Board and the Dutchess County Water and Wastewater Authority to acknowledge the town's consent of the sale of 14,764 gallons per day of potable water to Hopewell Developers LLC. And whereas Hopewell Developers LLC has requested that the town as an adjunct to the sales agreement provide it with 17,009 uh, 17,094 gallons of water for storage purposes. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to execute an agreement for water storage capacity with Hopewell Developers LLC in substantially the form annex for up to 17,094 gallons in any 24 hour period, 9,000 gallons of which shall be for firefighting purposes and 8,094 gallons for da average daily flow. And be it further resolved that this agreement represents part of the ongoing administration of the Town of Poughkeepsie's affairs with no change which would create a substantial adverse environmental impact and is a type two action requiring no secret review. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes 5-0. The next one, number 20, is four possible cannabis, cannabis locations, 39 Grange Avenue, 28 IBM Road, 2500 South Road, Main and Clover, unknown location. I still haven't quite figured out why the Canvas Bureau wants us to even send these things in. It's just a junk piece of paper because it's not necessarily where the location is going. Definitely in. not 39 LaGrange. She called to let me know that she wanted me to state that out loud. That's a salon yeah. and that's definitely not going to be a cannabis uh, location. Nope. So it makes really no sense for them to send them in except that they haven't. More like a notice of interest in the town is what it is. It's not right. They have, notice, they have to get their own personal license, the people. Mm -hmm. And then once they get their personal license, I believe, I'm not even sure if I'm correct, but they have been a year to get a location. Yep. And we have people looking. And 21's a preferred illegal Wiesner versus the town of Poughkeepsie. Number 22. Whereas Empress Ambulance Service LLC, as a successor to Mobile Life Support Inc., has proposed to continue to provide ambulance service from the Hamburg Ambulance District service area to the town at a cost to the town of $219,868.32 for the calendar year 2024, $228,663 for the calendar year 2025, and $237,809.52 for calendar year 2026. Now, therefore, be resolved that this contract involves the provision of professional services and is the town's best interest not to solicit other proposals. And be further resolved that the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized the supervisor to execute a three year agreement, if substantially a form annex, and on terms acceptable to the supervisor and attorney for the town with Empress Ambulance Service to provide ambulance service from the Hamburg Ambulance District Service Area for a calendar years 2024, 2025, 2026. To be a further resolve, the town board finds this is a type two action requiring no environmental review because it involves the ongoing administration of town affairs with no new programs or a reordering of priorities which might result in a significant adverse environmental impact. So moved. Second. second. Get a motion second. Anybody have any questions on I have yeah. a question on this. Either one can go first. Go go ahead. Yeah. Do we specify a response time? No, there's other state minimums for the response times. Well, I have some experience with Empress Ambulance Service in a place called Yonkers. I think we should have protection for the people in the town of a response time by the contract so that we don't have to wait for a unit to come from Putnam County. Bill, uh, one of these things this will address in here, the way it stands now, there's not a dedicated ambulance. There will be a dedicated ambulance in New Hamburg Fire District that will be shared between the Van New Hamburg Fire District, not Arlington, not Fairview, and the village of Watkins. So that unit will be here. It'll be in the district. And, and that's it's only for New Hamburg. Yeah, New Hamburg and the village of Watkins because the one New Hamburg ambulance alone does not generate the volume enough for one full ambulance. It will probably cost us twice that amount of money. So that's sort of the way it was unwritten with Mobile Life. It was the same way. But it wasn't a dedicated ambulance. This is actually a dedicated ambulance. My concern is 
that we don't, how can I put it, nail them down to specific response times. And since it's not going to be that frequently used. We'll get used. Okay. But it's not going to make a lot of money in terms of an ambulance service. I've had some experience with this stuff. And I think we might want to consider holding this for a short period of time and seriously looking at minimum response times. From what I understand, we can't dictate where they have to have a garage and put their ambulance. We can't specify that kind of stuff unless we put it in the overall bid and it would increase the bid cost. So that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is that if the call comes from the people who live down there or the businesses that are down there, that it's at the top of the response list. It is, that's why it's a dedicated ambulance bill. We didn't have a dedicated ambulance before. If you go over to the town of Wapiti, which has a dedicated ambulance, those, that ambulance is parked there for them. Before what we had was an ambulance that Mobile Life would jockey around back and forth through the district. This is a dedicated ambulance for New Hampshire. So this is gonna be parked there be parked for somewhere. the people from the town? Somewhere in the district where we agreed to the location. Somewhere in the, oh, we have to agree to it. We, we can agree to the location. Uh, okay, as long as, as long as there's a protection yep. to the people with respect to where the unit is located, because when you're having a heart attack, there's a big difference between six minutes and 16 minutes. And that's why we went with a dedicated ambulance. We never went with a dedicated okay. ambulance before. It was just a roaming ambulance before. Okay, good. But this is a significant jump up too, since yes. and a mobile life. The cost of a regular ambulance when we had mobile life was cheaper because it worked with um, the residents in the Hamburg basically were free if they're insurance and stuff. This, they didn't have a dedicated ambulance. A dedicated ambulance is a, on the average of $500,000 $500, a year. And the call volume has to justify it. They bid out to another town, and the town wanted three ambulances. And they said, you really only need two. Two ambulances was a million dollars. The third ambulance would cost another million because it wasn't justified in call volume to justify them making money and getting reimbursements for it. So us alone, we don't have a big enough call volume to justify it. So even when Mobile Life was there, we always contracts with yes or no, we always share the ambulance of Wapiers so it could justify right. the call volume. And that's, we got a, a different service now where it's an actually dedicated ambulance as opposed to a floating ambulance. Okay. Yeah. And the other ambulance was only, I think it was $10 a household. Mm -hmm. So for the difference, they're probably not paying $100 for a household for the ambulance. So it's still cheaper overall than it would be to hire a whole paid service. Well, that's, you know, that's yeah. definitely for sure. Yeah, and, you know, and we also have the right to get out. And the reason we didn't go out to bid, there's only one other one in the county. And they're nowhere close by. And they, they've already backed out of a bid in Putnam County earlier this year mm -hmm. to raise the cost because they weren't making money. So, and the county, I think it was at the last county meeting they addressed when it was on the agenda that they are applying for an ambulance uh, license. So their health care license. So maybe in the future, they will be putting something on board. So the county is looking to have their own service? Yeah, it takes a while to apply because there's like right. Northern Justice Paramedics is up north. They can only come down, I think it's as far as Hyde Park. Mm -hmm. They're not licensed to come anywhere below there. So they have to be licensed by the state. We couldn't pick somebody from Rockland County or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. They have to be licensed in the state to be somewhere. I think the only two here right now are Empress and Ambulance. And Ambulance was the one that was in Putnam County that was having issues in Putnam County. Mm -hmm. So being this one, it handles other areas and they've had a a decent report with the town of Wappingers as a dedicated ambulance service, not a floating, which becomes a problem because if it gets pulled out, you don't know where the other ambulances come from. So, okay. But it's something that has to be watched very closely because mm -hmm. there is definitely an issue with um, medics and EMTs in this service because of the pay scale. So it's something that has to be watched very closely. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion passes 5-0. Be resolved, Tab Board Town of Kipsky is hereby authorized the supervisor to sign a blanket sewer, access easement, and any supporting recording documents in regard to the South Hills Common project is substantially to form attached and be a further resolved that such exceptions 
an authorization by the town board of town of Poughkeepsie is subject to the approval of all final documents by the town attorney, planning board attorney, town engineer, and the director of municipal development for the town of Poughkeepsie. So moved. Second. Second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5 0. That brings us to number 24, which is um, will be referred to executive session. So, what I'd like to do prior to executive session to open the floor for any comments at all. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And I have a gentleman that wants to speak from the audience, Jay Savino. Do you want to come up? Sure. It's your turn. Come on up. Come on up, sir. You want to sit sure. down so you can talk in the mic, yeah, then we can hear you. Sure. Take your time. My name is Jay Savino. Uh, you may recall that I had a problem with the uh, pavement on on my uh, my part of the road, which was Ireland Drive extension. Um, mm -hmm. The um, the problem has been solved. Um, the Page Corporation, who owns the road, this section of road, uh, has finally agreed to help us by not only patching up the terrible condition that the road was in, but they actually repaved it, the whole thing from top to bottom, which to me is I, w I was shocked. I was amazed that this happened. And I just wanted to publicly thank Ann Berger and also uh, Jay Baisley for their help in this matter. Uh, they conferred with uh, Darren Page and whoever else. I don't know what they did, but they pulled off a miracle. And I just wanted to say thank you out of the bottom of my heart for uh -huh. from uh, for Ann Berger and also uh, Jay Baisley and uh, whoever else may have contributed to this uh, miracle. <laughs> it's been coming in for a while. It really I is. No, well, I was happy to help. Yeah. I'm glad it got done. Yeah. Thank you, Ann. It was a team effort, and I think once um, the group that I talked in and talked, there were two different groups of people. They understood the importance of making sure that you had a safe passage because you are sort of buried down there to make sure if an ambulance or something had to get in there or a fire truck, they can make it in there safely. Now, let me ask you, are the barricades still there? Yes, the yeah. barricades, uh, they had uh, had to open them temporarily <clears throat> to get the machinery in, and then they reclosed it. And according to uh, what uh, Darren Page told me, they're going to re be replaced by uh, gates, mm -hmm. which and the gates will only be open for fire department emergencies and things like that. But it will remain, thankfully, a closed, a closed end road. You know what I want to ask you too. You, who plows your little part of the road there? Do you have to go out there and do it yourself? Yes, yeah. technically. I know because the town doesn't own the road. They, they can't do it. Right. Uh, my next door neighbor has a small. Um, yeah, blower. A, a small a little tractor. Yeah. That he, okay. So he's been helping us a lot by by paving it for us. Yeah, it's going to be and much he, easier to plow. He makes it. a swing down, and he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to do it with the condition of the road the way it was. Yes, it was uh, bad. I'm, I'm speaking of uh, uh, Gary Mazone, mm -hmm. who I'm, I'm I'm also thanking on his behalf. Uh, he usually swings down with, with his tractor, and he actually does part of my driveway, too, uh, so gratefully. So I got a, a great neighbor, and I got great people helping me for, with doing Good. Getting, getting this accomplished. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> I applaud you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice thank to you. see you smile. <laughs> Is Good there anybody evening. else in the audience? Thank you. If not, Doreen? Okay, thanks, Jay. Um, I had a question about number five, which was the uh, COPS hiring program grant. So that's $375,000, and it says it will be used to hire three police officers for three years. Yep. So how, 
are, are they three new police officers? Correct. For 375000 for three years? Correct. So that's only like, I mean, that's can cool. you hire three police officers for that amount for three years? Not really. Not really. <laughs> no, that pay, it's not to pay oh. for the whole thing. It'll pay for a portion of it, Doreen. And oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's not meant to pay that, for the whole thing. That was my question. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Grants are a slippery slope. Yeah. <laughs> Something has to be looked at to see if the project works once it's put into place because we all know what the issues that are out there. One of the issues that we've been trying to address besides the community policing officer is getting a A person from a mental health out there with the police officers. I lost my train of thought there. That's just as important as the community policing out there because the interface there is definitely a benefit. So there are certain things that have to be addressed. Policing has changed direction in many different ways. So we have to work with that also to get out there. And we're, some of that money, again, will probably come from the opioid money. And that is also getting to be a lot less than it was the first couple of years. Okay, thanks for explaining. No, you're welcome. Is there anybody else? Make the motion to resume the rules. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution uh, number 12-6 be resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby adjourn to executive session to consider the following. One, matters which will imperil public safety if disclosed. Two, matter which may disclose the identity of law enforcement agent or informant. Pardon me. Um, I, I meant to put check marks. Oh, okay. On the ones that apply. Oh, yeah. Did I Discussions that? regarding proposed pending or current litigation. LG 52 versus town. The medical, financial, credit, or employment history of a particular person or corporation. Matters leading to the appointment, employment, promotion, demotion, discipline, suspension, dismissal, or removal of a particular person or corporation. To discuss matters which are exempt under the open meetings law, including A, judicial or quasi-judicial matters, B, matters subject to attorney-client privilege. So moved. Second. second. You a motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 5-0. Town board goes in executive session at 7.53 p.m. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Yeah. 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 Yeah.